I think Thomas Ruff, on the one hand, is a name probably most of us have heard already because he's one of the most famous protagonists of the so-called Düsseldorf School. Um, other artists, uh, Andreas Gurski or Thomas Struth or Candida Höfer. And um, they all studied with Bernd Becher, in the, especially in the 70s. And uh, they studied at the time when color and photography was uh, not allowed. It was even a taboo. And um, actually, Thomas Ruff was the, the one of them who uh, first used color. Uh, in America, there were William Eggleston or Stephen Shaw who, who, did, the, who did that already, but, but Ruff was it actually in Germany. And so his first series, which is called Interiors, which is also on display here in this exhibition, uh, is, is certainly uh, yeah, a break of a taboo and it looks very painterly in a way. Um, painterly because you think of Vermeer or still lifes. Um, but actually this use of color is representative for Ruff's attitude because there's a certain, let's say, a certain uh, little bit of Düsseldorf punk in it. It's always about breaking a certain rule. And um, with this attitude he's uh, working as a conceptual photographer and uh, so he's not so much interested in portraying the realities around us, he's more interested in portraying the real realities of photography. For this exhibition we choose five series from Thomas Ruffs, uh, in the meantime 22 series and these series um, consist of his first one and his very last one and then three others but the red thread is not so much uh, the retrospective character which the exhibition also has in a way it's more that it's uh, focusing on light in the photography of Thomas Ruff which is uh, in each of the series takes on a different shape in the first series of the interiors he works only with natural light which comes through the windows of, of this uh, yeah of this West Germany and a little bit like a camera obscura, uh, these, these flats are certainly uh, illuminated, which we see, these still lives. And then in, his, uh, in the second series, we show from Thomas Ruff the stars. He did from 1989 to uh, 1992. Uh, light is actually portrayed as such, as an as a element as a basic element of photography because what we see on these images he did not by himself, he didn't take the images, he made the images um, because he bought them from an archive. What we see is nothing more than light of stars and some of these stars we see on those images are probably dead in the moment when the light touches the camera and so this in this series, light also became, becomes the protagonist of a basic character of photography that it's never telling something like the truth. So that, it's, uh, that it has always its own rules of recording something and Ruf is actually interested in uh, researching the ways how this recording functions. And um, this is also in the third series we show here, which is it's called Nights. Actually, especially the stars and the nights are very classic series in the meantime. But in the nights, he did them from 1992 to 1996. And um, most of us will be reminded by viewing them about the pictures which were, uh, which were transmitted at, this, at the Gulf War in our flats uh, directly from the Iraq and they, will, they were not only creating a strange uh, uh, a strange relation between proximity and distance. This, this greenish color, which is, comes from a night vision, Ruff just put on his uh, normal camera, which is kind of amplifying normal light in the nights. But this greenish color is also telling a little bit about how we judge reality. Because for us, of course, this, in, in the Gulf War, these images were certainly evil. And yeah, Ruff at that time, he thought, okay, but actually, who is actually evil here? And then he um, decided to declare war to Dusseldorf 
because he was of course aware that the war in Iraq was also about Western interests, Western interests into oil, and so he declared war to Dusseldorf and uh, yeah, scanned his close surrounding. But light is of course also playing very role in, in this, in, on the one hand in this, uh, yeah, if we speak about motive, because light just amplifies the motives, but also um, as a it's, it's again about the technique because the light which is show which is illuminating the surroundings of Düsseldorf it would not be visible for our human eyes so the camera is always has always a prosthetic um, the character of a prosthesis yeah this is the third series he did it until 1996 and then the fourth series we really jump we jump actually uh, in the present because he started with it in 2012 and this series is called PHG or uh, which is um, which is a shortcut for photograms and these photograms